Okay, guys, sorry that I am not able to be in school today, so we have another fun video. Um, but just pause the video here um, and maybe write all of these down. And all these are the derivatives of um, a number to an exponent. Now, you're going to see that there's u's in here. There's x's and there's u's. So they're just saying, let's say that u is a different function. Okay, it's just a way of, of showing that you're going to use the chain rule, that there's like a little baby function here, and you're going to have to take the derivative of that baby function. So these two are the same, and these two are the same. Okay, so take a minute, write those down. Okay, so now let's just look at a bunch of examples. So let's say that we have y equals 3 to the x, and we want the derivative of that. Okay, so this is this type right here. So we're going to go natural log of 3 times a to the x, 3 to the x. And that's it. Okay, let's say we have something like this. Okay, so here we can see there's a little baby function up there, 3 to the x. Now, another thing that you want to do when you're working with these and you have logarithms here is if you can get this down to a lower base, you want to do that. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 squared to the 3x. Okay, so any time that you can get that base down, okay, and let, let's make a note that you want to get to a lower base if possible. Okay, so then this is now going to become, remember, power to a power, we multiply 2 to the 6x. Okay, so now I'm using this formula right here. So I'm going to do the natural log of a, which is just that base right there, so the natural log of 2 okay, times a to the u, so 2 to the 6x and then du dx, the derivative of that 6x, which is 6. Okay, so I'm just going to move this around. I'm going to put that 6 in the front, and I'm going to put this in the front. And I could clean it up a little bit more if I want. So that, oops, that 2 to the 6x, I could say, well, that's the same thing as that, right? Because I would do power to a power. So this is equivalent to this. 2 to the 6th is 64 to the x. So I've got 6 times 64 to the x times the natural log of 2. And remember, I can't multiply those right there because this one has an exponent on there. Okay, so these are kind of a nice change of pace, I think, from doing those inverse functions. Okay, let's say we have y equals 5 to the x squared. Okay, so we can see we have a little baby function up there. So we're going to go, all right, y prime is the natural log of 5 times 5 to the x squared times the derivative of x squared, 2x. And, oh, I was looking at something else. Okay, so I could leave it like that. I could move it into a different form. doesn't matter. Okay, so let's say we have something like, similar to this. Let's say it looks like that. Okay, so same idea. Y prime natural log of 5 times 5 to the 3 minus x squared, and then the derivative of that, negative 2x. These don't seem so bad. Okay, let's do one 
like that, log base 5. Okay, so that's this guy right here. Okay, so 1 over natural log of A times X. 1 over the natural log of 5 times X. Okay, I'm going to get a new piece of paper here. Just a, a few more of these guys. And then we'll be good to do some practice. Okay, so what if we had something log base 3 of the sine of x? Okay, so there we can see our little baby function in there. So we know we're going to have to do the chain rule. Okay, so I'm going to do 1 over the natural log of 3 times that. times the derivative of sine of x, which is cosine x. Okay, so I could say that y prime is the cosine of x over the natural log of 3 times the sine of x. Okay, so these are kind of nice because we're just sort of following some little rules again. So remember on something like this, that this is, um, if there's no base, remember it's base 10. And then look, we have one of those exponential ones inside of here. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do on this guy right here. So I've got to go y prime, 1 over, that's a 10, natural log of 10 times that. So I can put that, I guess, in parentheses, and we could say x plus 3 to the x, okay, times, now we got to take the derivative of that. Well, the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of 3 to the x is the natural log of 3 times 3 to the x. So kind of a lot of stuff going on on that one. So we'll say 1 plus 3 to the x natural log of 3 over natural log of 10 times x plus 3 to the x. Whew. Piece by piece. Not too bad. Okay, how about last one of these guys? You know, maybe pause the video. See if you can do this one on your own. Okay, so I'm looking at the little baby in there. Um, well, there's a baby inside of a baby because I have x to the one third. Okay, so I'm going to do y prime equals 1 over the natural log of 2. Then I got to multiply it by this. So 2x plus 1 to the 1 third times, okay, so now I got to do the derivative of this. This is 1 third, 2x plus 1, 1 third minus 1, or 1 third minus 3 thirds, negative 2 thirds, Derivative of 2x plus 1, 2. Phew. Okay, so let's see what we've got. I'm going to move that 2 right up to the front. And I'm going to write it as 2. That's going to be the only thing that's on the top. On the bottom, I have 3. Natural log of 2. 2x plus 1 to the 1 third. Times 2x plus 1. And I'm bringing it down to the bottom to get rid of the negative exponent up there. And it's going to become 2 thirds over there. Okay, now look what happens here. A 1 third and a 2 thirds 
um, that's going to make it three thirds, which is going to make it one. So this is now two, three natural log of two times two x plus one. And there we go. Okay. Last one. We are going to find an equation. of the tangent line of f of x is 6 to the x, where x equals 2. OK, doesn't matter. Equation of the tangent line. We need a point and we need a slope. So we've got the x value. Let's get the y value. f of 2 is 6 squared is 36. OK, there's our point. Our slope is going to be the derivative. So let's find the general der der bleh, derivative first, 6 to the x. That is the natural log of 6 times 6 to the x. And then we want to find the derivative at 2, which is the natural log of 6 times 6 squared, which is 36 natural log of 6. OK, tangent line. y equals the slope 36 natural log of 6 x minus 2 plus 36. And we got it. Alrighty. Hopefully those weren't too bad.